Okay, question 10 here is looking at those convertible algebra and words. And lots of people find this a bit difficult. So hopefully you can pick up these marks in the exam and other people are going to get it wrong. So you get a bit of an advantage. But you have to check you understand what's going on. So we've got the number of blue beads is um, x. The number of red beads, so blue is equal to x. Red is equal to x plus 3. And number of yellow beads is equal to 2x, twice the number of uh, blue ones. So we've got to choose sentences, we've got to choose from this list to help us complete the sentence. The number of red beads is, well, it's red is 3 more, it's plus 3, isn't it? So it's 3 more than the number of blue beads. So we've done that one. Next one says the number of yellow beads is something the number of blue beads. Well, yellow is 2x and blue is x, so it's got to be double, hasn't it? You've times it by 2. It's double. So mark each for those. Check you understand how I did that. Now it says this one's a four mark question. It's not that hard, but if you don't know how to start it, then you get you really stuck. So it says the total number of beads in the bag is 67. Work out the number of red beads in the bag. So well, we're told, and this is the last bit, is a bit tricky actually. So, we're told that there's blue, red, and yellow beads. So, there's blue beads is x. If we add that to the number of red beads, and red is x plus 3, and then we add that to the number of yellow beads, which is 2x. So, this is blue here, this is red, and this is yellow. We're told if we add all those up, we get the total. 67. Well, we can simplify. We've created an equation now. If you write that down, that's what's worth a mark. So now, if we add up, we've got 1x, 2x, 3x, 4x plus 3 is equal to 67. So we've just simplified it, made it look a bit easier. Now we've got to solve this equation. To solve this equation, we're going to have to do the opposites. So we're going to take away 3 and then we're going to divide by 4. Take away 3 is 64. Divide by 4 means that x must be 16. Now check you can get from that step because I've, I've done it quite quick. We've done take away 3 and divide by 4. So 67 take away 3 is 64 and then halve it and halve it again gets us to 32 and then to 16. But that's the number of blue beads. So there's 16 there's 16 blue beads but the question very sneakily asks us for the number of red beads in the bag. Okay, so the red beads is actually three more than the blue beads, so there's 19 red beads. And that's a bit of a sneaky question. If you got the 16, that would be worth three marks, but you asked for red, so you've the fourth mark, you've got to get 19 red beads. Okay, go back over it and check you understand how I did that. It's a bit tricky. This last one's for four marks. It's really important you could try and do this because it's four marks, there's a lot of marks, and it'd be nice to get those in your exam.